Okay, here we go. It's working this time. What's up, guys? Colton Lindsay here coming at you live inside of the Fearless Agent Facebook group. This is Fearless Agent Live. Check this out. I'm going to flippity flop this around. You guys see my sweet hat. There we go. Back on it. Cool. Awesome. So what we're talking about today is it's not about getting all of them. It's about getting five of them. We want to set five appointments every single week. So as you guys hop on, put an L in the recording or in the comments if you watch it live and R if it's recorded. I'd love to, to just monitor that and watch that. So if you guys ever watch me on my YouTube channel, I do live prospecting sessions. I use the Mojo Dialer. I use the, for sell, uh, I use the uh, uh, Fearless Agent Scripts to the best of my capabilities. However, I will warrant, even after 12 years, sometimes I think my own way is better <laughs> and I mess some stuff up. But this is the idea of correct and continue. And there was one particular person that caught me off guard today. I was calling some old leads and it's a townhome lead. Some of you guys might have been watching it live. Um, and they said, yeah, we're going to be selling our house, but we're going to be using another agent. And so I went in to handle that and get the appointment set. And sometimes your mind goes blank. My mind went blank, and I've been doing this for 12 years. I've made thousands and thousands of prospecting calls. But the idea is, how can I correct and continue moving forward from this? Because it's not about giving every, getting everyone. And I did not get this appointment set, right? And typically, this would be a, a pretty easy one, in my opinion, to set the appointment on, at least get the presentation. So the guy selling his rental property, tenants are moving out. He was referred to an agent that's here locally in Ogden area, um, and so he trusts her. But at the same time, he was very analytical. Okay? And so what happens is, is sometimes we fall into the trap, and I'm guilty of it as well, is we try to go into their analytical game or they handle the objection game, and they are answering the wrong question. They're not answering our question. So one of the ways that I realized with this particular call, and you guys can take this into your business as well, that I can correct and continue is to go back and re-ask the magic question. Right? If there's ever a, a way to set an appointment and get the right answers to ask the magic question, if you knew 100% for certain that doing business with me, two things would happen. One is you sell your house, the other is you end up with way more money in your pocket. Would you want to hear more about it? Be honest with me, right? I didn't even ask that question and that's the famous question that I teach you guys to ask. But my point is, is you're not gonna be perfect on every call. It's not about getting everyone, it's about getting five of those. So now I can learn where I made my mistake, I can correct and continue, get back on the phone, and the next time that that lead pops up, guess what I'm gonna ask? Guess what I'm a little bit more observant about right now? I have two options. I can beat myself up for not getting the appointment set, right? How many of you sometimes feel like you're gonna beat yourself up a little bit because you didn't get the appointment set? Say yes in the comments below if that's you, right? Or the other way you can look at this is, you know what, I messed up, I made a mistake, how quickly can I get up and what can I learn from this situation so that I can correct and continue and go get my next appointment set. One of the questions I want you guys to always ask yourself is what's the next important thing for me to get great at? That's one question. The other question I want you to ask is what can I learn from this mistake? Because once you start to realize that your real estate career is based off of all your mistakes and all of the times you messed up and all the times you goofed it up, then you can start to learn from those mistakes and you can actually be grateful for those. You can get up quicker. You can ask yourself that question. You can learn. Like this particular example is what can I learn from my mistake? I didn't use the magic question, the one question on planet Earth that is designed to actually help me set appointments. For whatever reason, I was caught off guard, I fell into their trap, I went down the analytical answering the wrong question, and I didn't get the appointment. So what do I have to learn? Recenter, especially when I'm caught off guard, get focused, stay on the, on the call, and ask the magic question so I can set seven, five appointments, go on three, sign one of them every single week. So. Ask yourself right now, what was the mistakes you made this week and or last week or over the last couple weeks and what can you do to correct and continue? What can you learn from that that you can get back up on the saddle, get back up on the horse, get mounted up and ride on forward and take that next listing and get that next deal in the contract. Let me give you an example of working till the end, right? So on my board, I wrote down, I wanted to get X amount of deals on a contract by the end of November, so they close in December. A couple of those I wrote as miracles. I didn't know where they were gonna come from, right? I ended up putting one of my listings at heaven percent under contract, double side from a buyer that reached out to us on, on Sunday night. I knew it was a hot listing. We got out there, got it showed wrote up an offer, we had four offers, and obviously I was going to incentivize them to write the strongest possible offer, which was helping them. It was a win for the seller, it was a win for the buyer, it was a win for me, 
But guess what? Those are the miracles that happen when you get up quickly and you correct and continue. It's the unforeseen stuff that makes you rich in real estate. When you do the boring stuff and you don't feel like doing it, I was just talking to fearless agent Cody Barton about this yesterday. He had lost his drive after Thanksgiving and yet I talked him back onto the saddle. Yesterday about four o'clock he got back on the phones, set an appointment and wrote a deal together that he brought a deal for $340,000 under contract. It's not a matter of you not being disappointed in this business. It's not a matter of you having mistakes. It's a matter of you getting up more quickly, correcting and continuing, and moving forward, setting five appointments, going on three, signing one. Thanks for being here, guys. If you guys are part of Fearless Agent Nation, we appreciate you. We appreciate every stinking one of you. Drop some comments down below. If you have questions that you want me to answer, feel free to always reach out to me in Messenger as well. I know I've been doing some calls with a bunch of you, helping you guys out as well. Go to fearlessagent.com if you're not already in Fearless Agent. Get signed up. Get started. Don't wait till January 1st because January 1st is too late. Today is the day. Now is the time. Put a now in the comments if you get that now is the time to take action. Thanks for being here, guys. you got to protect. And then the best way to win the economy going forward is to get grounded, get reconnected, and actually spend more and more time separated from your digital world, separated from your phone, separated from your computer, separated from your Netflix, separated from the shit that keeps you so connected 